Hello everyone, I am back with another recipe. This is my homemade beef soup. Okay, right now I'm going to show you my delicious beef. Look at that, don't that look good? Yeah, real good, don't it? Mm-hmm. Got to show that again. Okay. And you can just use what, whatever you have in your refrigerator. It's up to you. Your spices and all that different stuff. It's up to you. When I can, I try to use fresh vegetables. Vegetables because they're better for you. I have some corn. Doesn't matter what brand. Cup of onions. I have carrots that I need to. I have uh, a pepper. Ooh, okay, we're getting busy over here. I have some potatoes, white potatoes. I have celery, fresh celery. I have some beef broth. I'm going to use some Larry black pepper seasoning salt. Not too sure. I use, use that more on the end. I might use a tablespoon of it or so. I have my favorite here, Trader Joe's 21 seasoning salute. Probably like about three tablespoons of this. Let's see. A can of tomato paste. Can of green beans. Probably won't use all these green beans. I have some diced tomatoes in here. It's probably like two cups. And I have some seasoning here. Zanzoom coriander annatto seasoning. I am going to use, can you see that? I'm going to use two packs of the seasoning. I don't know whether you can see that or not, but you can zoom in on it and see it probably. Yeah. Get back over here. Get that all the way. And of course, I'll probably end up using two cups, at least two cups of regular water. I won't use all beef broth in this soup. I will use some water in this soup because it, it, I don't want it to, the flavor, the beefy broth flavor to overpower my soup. That's why I add water with this. A lot of my uh, soups and things I make and dishes, I don't use water. But this one, I will use some water with making this beef up soup. Okay, just move some things around here. I don't know whether you can see me or not. I'm just uh, chop my celery here. And it depends on what you want you all. And it doesn't matter uh, which, you know, shape you want to put your celery in. It's up to you. I just do mine's about this size here, size celery. So I'll get that chopped down up. Then like I said, you know, you can just use what's in your refrigerator. Don't go all out. Just make the soup your own. Just get the chopping. And I usually make soup like in um, when it's cold outside. Very seldom do I make one when it's not cold outside, unless my family requests one. I also like chicken noodle soup. I like things like that too. Make a soup like that is good. 
You can have chicken and rice soup. That's a good soup. Whatever one, whatever you want to make. There's, you know, also other soups you can make. Uh, squash soup and all of that. I had a lot of squash during the summer. Because I had a garden. It's up to you what you want to do. But okay. And for me, I'm going to make a big pot of soup. So I'm just chopping up all these vegetables. Getting them chopped. But also, too, with that, when it comes to your beef, if you want to start it on the stove a little bit, you can. Well, normally I don't. Um, Pre-cook it a little bit on the stove. I just usually just go ahead and just um, cook it, start it. Um, I got my celery here. I'm going to put that to the side here. Okay. What I am going to do, go ahead and pre-do this here. My beef broth. Go ahead and put this in here. There, go ahead and store. And I'm going to go ahead and put this in my crock pot. The other part, it heats up, that is. Container. And go ahead and store my beef. And what I usually do, because I like tender beef, I usually cook my beef probably like um like an hour and a half. It all depends. If I put more beef in here, maybe like two hours before I add any vegetables to it. So I'm going to put this in here. Uh, go ahead and start it cooking it. Of course, I'm turning it on high. I'm not going to show you how I cut up all my vegetables, but you can see quite a bit of it. Just peeling my car uh, carrots. Oh, God, I couldn't think of that word. But I'm peeling these carrots. And just do it just like this here. This is easy when you have a peeler. I mean, I guess some people use a knife. It's up to you. I can't say I've never used a knife for my carrots. I have in the past, but it was a long time in the past using it. Let's get the peeling. And as you can see, I got it set up here. I don't know why I'm doing this because I could do it on the side. It doesn't matter though. It's up here on top of my, my stove here. I done done stuff like this everywhere, so it doesn't even matter. I'm not going to get it in my burner stuff. My carrots. Peel and cut. Uh, carrots, I would say, believe it or not, it takes them longer to cook and get tender than it does the potatoes. So I would say you might want to add your carrots before you add your potatoes, but you'll see the way I do mine. It's up to you. If you like your carrots crunchy, then uh, you can do it that way. But um, I don't like a lot of crunchy carrots and stuff like that. I like my vegetables to be nice and tender. But it's up to the individual, okay? You could just as well use canned carrots and all of that, you all. I would say with the canned carrots, to me they have a different taste, a sweet taste, when you use them. But it's up to you. 
Some people use canned potatoes. That's up to you. Or there is a mixture of, veg, I think, veg all, B-E-G-A-L-L, -L, that you can use when you're making your soup. Uh, don't try it all that stuff, you all. To me, it doesn't taste that good. I just like to cook mainly my stuff fresh and from scratch. Like I say, I use um, processed stuff when I have, you know, don't have a choice. Of course, my green beans, and let me tell you about green beans. The only thing about green beans is that I don't like to use the frozen green beans because I don't know what it is about the consistency. It's not the same. It's totally different. When I put it in my soups and things, it's just not the same. So I don't like using that. So I prefer, prefer to use uh, the canned green beans. You can't get them with low sodium. I think there's some low sodium. But I had those in my cabinet or pantry. So just decided just to use them. Because here, you know, we're just using soup. Making the soup with what we have at the house. For peas, if you want to add peas to your soup, you can. But peas is also something you add at the very end. Because if they get too, if you cook them too much, they're going to come out of the shell. And it's, you know, it's not a good eat. We do it like that. There's my carrots. Okay, about through with those. Then we're gonna slice slice our potatoes. And I just cut those in like little like little uh, cubes. Ooh. Cubes of potatoes. Got a pepper here. I'm gonna finish this here first. So whatever you want to do is up to you. Put this right here. Get this out of the way. My potatoes. I'll put that on the side over here. Come back here. The dish up. Dump some potatoes in there. The pan, just dump my celery off in this pan here for right now. Get back with the uh, carrots. It's up to you. I like tough car uh, carrots. See the size I'm cutting these carrots? You might can't see that good. You all, like I said, potatoes uh, don't have to be that, that big. See what size they are? Size of my potatoes. Like that. Okay, about through cutting those up and just cut the pepper up. That's it. It's all my vegetables. I'm going to be cutting up. Put them over here in my same bowl. Oh, that goes my potatoes. Everywhere. Okay. All my vegetables cut up. Can you see it? Okay. Get my pepper ready. One pepper is enough. If you don't want to use pepper, if you don't use pepper in your soup, you all, you don't have to. Like I said, you know, just take the recipe, make the recipe your own. You don't have to use what you don't normally use. This is just my soup. We want to get some ideas from 
The way I make my suit is fine. I just wanted to share it with you. That's all. Because I like when people share recipes with me. I like that. And this pepper do not have to be pretty. Not at all. Let's cut it. It all depends on my pepper. When I fix my soup and things, I have a tendency to taste it. To see what kind of flavor or see what I'm working with. I'll probably put this whole pepper in it. Sometimes it's a little bit more spicier than others. No, I know it sounds a little crazy, but just like anything, might something you might have two things and at one time it might taste a little better. Okay, finishing up my pepper here. I think this all right. And you all, when it comes to cutting your beef, it's up to you how you want to cut your beef. But you don't need really, really, you don't need really big pieces. Let me just show you about this beef right quick. You want to cut your beef? About this size, it's up to you. See how I got the beef cut? You don't want it any smaller than this here. Just little chunks. Let me pick one piece up. Just little chunks. That's all. Okay. Got my beef cooking. Uh, still got a little ways to go. And then I'll come back and show you what I'm going to add next. Talk to you later. Hi, you all. I am back, and let's get started with my beef soup. I'll see you over there. Let's get started. Looking good, you all. Look at this beef. It's getting ready. Yes, indeed. My carrots are doing pretty good in here. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to add my potatoes. Probably a little bit more than what you'll be adding. I got, look, almost like four and a half cups of potatoes. It's me because I love potatoes. So I'm going to have more than probably what you will have. Oh, when it comes to beef, if you want to, you can have maybe like two and a half to three pounds of beef. Just make sure it's not, you want a lot of uh, uh, fat on it, but you don't want a lot of fat on your beef. Because it's going gonna, it's gonna to be really, really greasy. But if you want like, you know, three pounds of beef, then you can have three pounds of beef. It is up to you. Sometimes, you know, when you get the beef, you don't have exactly three pounds because someone's fat. But it's up to you. Three, four pounds. It's up to how much meat you want to put in, in there. But of course, the more you add, the more you're going to need to adjust your seasoning. So, your seasoning you put in it. Okay. Mm, that stuff looks so good. Okay, let's go ahead and add these ingredients, rest of the remaining of the ingredients here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add my tomatoes. I don't know why I mixed those to you or not. I'm adding my tomatoes, diced tomatoes. I'm just going to just go ahead and put, I'm going to use three tablespoons three tablespoons of my 21 salute seasoning and uh, I have this in uh, tomato uh, just a little bit more tomato paste you all get back up there I am also going to add one half tablespoon of Lowry black pepper. One half tablespoon of that. 
and what it say? It says black pepper uh, seasoning salt. Okay, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get my uh, seasoning in here. Zizon seasoning. And it's, uh, you all, it's the um, coriander and my Anton. I think that's what it is. Go ahead and open that. I'm trying to get from the side here. I'm trying not to waste my seasoning. I'm just going to put all that in here. And I'm going to, go on to use two packs. But like I said, just take this recipe and make it your own. Whatever, whatever you want to do. Stir all that up. And together. And this is like some uh, I have tomato paste here and I will say for tomato paste here I have a little uh, can I think it might be an 8 ounce can I'm not too sure but I'll take in a few minutes I use uh, like two thirds of it and I'm gonna put this in all together here stir all that in together Mm, don't let me do it. Don't let it smell. It's good. And when it comes to seasoning, you can just go ahead and season the way you want to season. I'm going to add my green beans. I might add a little bit more green beans. I'm going to add my celery too. A little bit more of my green beans. Fish a few more of those out. Mm-hmm. Gonna add my celery. I won't get that because I didn't want to get uh, I didn't want it to turn color. So spoon celery in here. Celery. One thing about celery, it don't take celery long to cook. You don't want it mushy. Okay, and my crock, my crock pot is seven quarts. And when I make soup, I make a big pot. But if you don't have a large family and have a smaller crock pot, then just take the recipe, and make it your own. You might just want to experiment a little bit. Uh, you can always add ingredients, but once you know you put too much in there, then you can't take it out. And let me go get my onions. My onions and my peppers. Okay, I'm gonna add like a couple cups of corn. Mm -hmm. We're gonna cook it all up and everything. Smelling good, looking good. Okay, I'll talk with you later. Look at my soup. It looks good. Look at all the vegetables and mm, beef. It looks really, really good.
Here's my suit. Look at this good suit. Looking so good. Like I stated, I got a big pop food. <laughs> vegetables and and beef mm. and guess what it tastes as good as it looks just like I stated I know it's gonna be good and it is good hi everyone I'm back with my delicious beef soup it's really really good mm -hmm. Sierra is here with me and she's gonna taste hey, <laughs> She's gonna taste my soup. Mm -hmm. Yep. And let you all know what she thinks I'm about taste it. Mm -hmm. Okay. The beef is so tender. Mm -hmm. It looks really, really good. She's gonna taste it. Let's see what this is all about. Mm -hmm. Make sure I get a little it's bit good. Mm hmm. That's good, Mom. Mm -hmm. Like I said, the beef is tender. Mm -hmm. mm. That's why I always cook my beef a little longer. Mm -hmm. Because once you put all your vegetables and all that stuff in it, mm -hmm. in it and your beef is tough, mm -hmm. then uh-oh. You got a problem <laughs> on your hands. Mm -hmm. You'll be eating tough beef. Right. You can either be eating tough beef or mushy veg vegetables. Mm-hmm. Mm. Got my peanut butter sandwich. Mm hmm. Get some beef here. Mm hmm. Mm. So good. And what I like when you make your. Mm. Look at that. <laughs> uh oh, I'm sorry. I'm dripping stuff. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And what I like about your soups is, um, you know, is the way that you cook it. Because, like you said, you know, if you, if you don't cook it, um, I guess if you don't cook it a certain way, you are going to have mushy vegetables and or tough meat. But I mm -hmm. like how you do it. And even these like these vegetables, like this celery and the potatoes and the corn and um, the carrots, like it has soaked in all the flavors like of the juices. Mm -hmm. And it tastes delicious. Mm. Yeah, crock pot can do some good cooking. cooking. Oh, yeah. You know, don't be a, afraid to experiment with mm -hmm. seasoning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm, that's good enough. all different that's kinds good. if it's not good mm -hmm. then you know next time don't use it mm -hmm. but if it's good then you say oh wow I got a winner there mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's a winner y'all mm. Everything is just put so perfectly well together. I just love it. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Peanut butter and jelly sandwich mm. goes great with soup. Mm -hmm. And this is a meal here. Mm -hmm. You know, if you want the kids to eat their vegetables, there's plenty in here. Mm -hmm. Like Sierra says, she likes a lot of she likes the potatoes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like the potatoes and the carrots. Really, I mean, I like everything, but I'm just saying when it soaks in the juice and the stuff, it's just mm, extra goodness. You know, when I was fixing this soup, and I could smell all those mm, flavors, mm -hmm. spices and stuff, I said to myself, mm, I know it's going to be good. <laughs> and it is. It is. Good job, Mom. Mm. Mm. Thank you. Okay, we can go ahead and finish this soup. Mm-hmm. Because mm. it is good. Mm-hmm. Just like I stated, just take the recipe, make it your own. Mm-hmm. Make it your own. So you might have to taste test just a little bit because I make my soup and stuff in a large portion. Mm-hmm. But anyway... Mm. Mm -hmm. We will talk with we will talk with you later. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>